Hello and welcome to another manga spotlight. This is I was reincarnated as a scumbag from a Nitorari manga, but the heroine is coming on to me. And as you can probably guess by that really long title, this is based off of a isekai novel. Pretty much any time when you see a really long title for a manga, you can pretty much be sure that it's an isekai and it's based off a light novel series. So the light novel series is by Mion and the artist for this manga series is Sumikawa Haru. And yeah, the best way to explain this is that our main character gets isekai into a NTR manga as the guy who does the um, ntr -ing. So he, he is the scumbag who steals the main character's girl. But of course, our main character, um, he hates NTR and he does not want to cuckold anybody. So he's trying his best to not hook up with the female character in this series. But um, yeah, things don't go according to plan. <laughs> so the little uh, description here. I suddenly remembered this world is a world of an erotic manga and that I was reincarnated as a scumbag who was supposed to steal the heroine in this world. Well, I don't have such a hobby, so I thought the heroine should get along with the protagonist. But why are you paying attention to me, heroine? And yeah, so we basically start off with um, our main female character. Her name is Rindau. And Rindau gets approached by the scumbag. His name is Ryuichi. Ryuichi um, basically uh, <laughs> approaches her, tells her, I want you to be my woman. And it immediately cuts to a scene where he's pounding her from behind. And she uh, caves in. Like at first she's like apologizing to her boyfriend. I I'm sorry, but uh, I've changed my mind. Like I want to be with the scumbag. And the scumbag, uh, Ryuichi, is like, you know, I've trained your girlfriend to my liking. He's like taunting the main character. And then immediately he cuts to our protagonist, who's like shoving the manga away. He's like, damn it, that was horrible. That sucks. Basically, he uh, he's a fan of like erotic mangas. And he went to the store and he got one that looked kind of interesting. And it wasn't until he was flipping through it and reading it at home that he realized, oh no, I picked up an NTR manga. And he absolutely despises NTR. He doesn't like being cuckold and he doesn't like cuckolding somebody else. So, um, yeah, he's like, I hate this uh, novel. I'm, I'm going to go to bed. And when he wakes up, he goes into the uh, bathroom and he's like splashing water in his face. And he looks in the mirror and he realizes, oh, my God, I'm Ryuichi. I'm the scumbag in the manga that I just read. What the hell is going on? And um, all of a sudden, he, uh, he gets like flashes of what happens. And he was on his way home from work when uh, the infamous truck coon shows up and runs him over. And he wakes up as uh, Ryuichi. And he even gets um, like memories of Ryuichi's life. So basically, he retains his old memories, but he also retains all the memories that Ryuichi had up until this point. So he has like basically two personalities like in his head. He's like, okay, let, let me think about this. All right, so based off of the time period, like the, the date that I'm in, the uh, the main heroine isn't dating the uh, manga protagonist. His name is Sohei. So uh, Rindao is not dating Sohei yet. They're just friends. I still have a year before they start dating and before this NTR business starts. So what I'm going to do since... I'm now in the role of Ryuichi, is I'm going to put a stop to that right here and now. Um, I'm not even going to have a chance for any kind of NTR to build up. I'm going to stay away from Rindao. I'm going to stay away from Sohei. I'm not even going to try to come ac across her in any way. I'm just going to keep to myself, and I'm going to make sure that I do not follow any kind of routes that lead to NTR. <laughs> and so, um, let's just say that that goes terribly. So yeah, he's like, okay, my whole life is like changed now. I'm now in this scumbag's body. I have all his memories. I realize that his life growing up is really terrible. Like he's basically been neglected by his parents. That doesn't really give him uh, an excuse to go around cuckolding a bunch of uh, dudes as girls. But still, so I have all these bad memories. Not to mention just the fact that I'm dead and now I'm inside this scumbag's body. 
I'm gonna go for a walk and clear my head. So he's going for a walk to clear his head. When all of a sudden he hears this uh, woman, I don't wanna say being attacked, cause she's not really attacked, but um, basically these two guys are kinda forcing themselves on her in the sense that like, they're like grabbing her and they're trying to get her to go uh, do karaoke with her. And they're like, you know, um, hey, why don't you hang out with us? I bet we'll show you, like, we'll show you a good time, that kind of stuff. And she is totally against it. And of course, uh, Ryuichi, because he has his old mindset, he's like, I don't want to see any of this happening to a woman. So he goes up and he tells the guys, hey, like, knock it off, beat it, scram. And the two guys turn and they see Ryuichi. And Ryuichi is like a big, muscular dude. He's tall. He he looks like a delinquent. He's, he looks like someone you don't want to mess with. So as soon as the uh, two dudes see him, they uh, they run off. And he turns to the girl and he realizes, oh my god, it's Rindau. Rindau is the girl that I ended up saving. Damn it. <laughs> and she's just kind of like staring at him, like shocked. That's Ryuichi saved her. And so he just kind of looks at her and he's like, hey, you. And she is like freaking out because, um, you know, she's heard all these bad rumors about him. So she's um, scared as hell. And he just walks past her and he's like, I'm sorry for scaring you. Um, those guys probably won't come back. So you should be able to get back home on your own. Just be careful. And he walks away. And she's kind of like surprised because she expected that he would maybe try to force himself on her. Because, again, he has a really bad history. Like, uh, there's a lot of rumors about how he sleeps around with a bunch of women and stuff like that. So she's like, oh, no, am I going to be his next target? But no, he, he's just like, I just saved your life. You're good to go. And um, she thanks him. Like, she's like, you know, thank you for saving me. And he turns around and he smiles at her. And he's like, sure thing. And the smile he gives is a smile that Ryuichi would never, ever give. This is a smile that only uh, our protagonist would give. And something seems to um, resonate within Rendell. Like she immediately gets like hard eyes and she starts blushing and she runs away. And he's like, that reaction. Oh my God, like what's going on? Did I come across as creepy or did I accidentally trigger the NTR route? Okay, I just got to make sure that from now on, I am extra careful to stay away from her and not hit any flags that would trigger an NTR route. And um, he's walking back home and we cut back to Rindau who's heading back home. And she's like, um, you know, Ryuichi, I can't believe he can smile like that. She's blushing. And <laughs> basically, yeah, he's triggered something in her. And from here on out, the series becomes Ryuichi doing everything he possibly can to stay away from Rindau. Meanwhile, Rindau has developed a crush on Ryuichi and is doing everything she can to get close to him. So, for example, she goes and she talks to him during school. Like, she approaches him. She asks him how he's doing. She makes him, like, meals for him to eat for lunch. She bumps into him when he's at the supermarket and realizes that he's just buying like ready-made food like he's not buying anything that he can cook himself and he even ex explains like yeah I, I i don't know how to cook so i'm just buying ready-made meals and she's like oh take me back to your home and i'll cook for you and so she uh he's like no 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 like i don't want to do that but she kind of forces herself into that situation and so he takes her back home and she cooks for him and then this starts becoming a thing where all, and then she starts bringing him to her house to, uh, to meet her mom and things. So basically, the series becomes Ryuichi doing everything he possibly can to stay away from Rindau. But because of this one meeting where he saved her, Rindau develops a crush on Ryuichi and now is doing everything she possibly can to get his attention. Meanwhile, Sohei who is her childhood friend, he obviously has a crush on her, but he hasn't told her. So is it really NTR when the two aren't together? That's up for you to decide. But yeah, it just becomes this really interesting dynamic where uh, Ryuichi is doing everything he can to not hit the NTR routes. Rindau is doing everything she can to hit that route, not knowing that um, she's supposed to be with a childhood friend. And meanwhile, her childhood friend is like going crazy because his crush 
is developing feelings for this guy who's supposed to be a scumbag womanizer. And so we just have all this like drama thrown in. And uh, I've read some of the light novel. Like I'm not all caught up or anything like that. I will say it starts getting a little bit more crazy about where this series goes. I will say that the manga is actually better, in my opinion, than the uh, light novel. Because in the light novel, Ryuichi um, is basically like his past life merges with this new life he has. And so the two personalities almost start becoming one. And so he starts becoming a little bit more of like a scumbag in the, the light novel. But in the manga, it's not really like that. In the manga, it's more like he has the two memories. He has the memories of his past life. And then he has the memories of the life that he just took over. But his past life, his past personality is the one that's in charge. So while he takes over the body of the scumbag, he himself does not become a scumbag. Instead, he still he still retains the same personality he had before. And so he's just kind of like a nice, generous, quiet dude. And it's because of this personality, because of the way that he was in his previous life, that's what's attracting Rindau and others towards him. It's the fact that, hey, this guy who, I mean, he, he's handsome, he's tall, he's strong, he's well-built. The only thing really stopping him from making friends and things is just the fact that he's a scumbag. But because he's no longer a scumbag, because he has this new personality, there's nothing really stopping him from being popular and being someone that a lot of people want to be around. And that's what's winning him the hearts of everybody around him is because of the fact he retained his old personality. Unfortunately, that aspect of him it's what's driving him towards the NTR route. So he's kind of stuck in this dilemma where he's like, I don't want to NTR the manga's main character, but at the same time, I'm just, I'm not a scumbag person. Like, that's just not who I am. So I can't go and be mean to people because that's not the way that I was brought up. Like, I'm a generally decent person. But that general decentness is what's raising a bunch of NTR flags. So he's kind of stuck. Like, what do I do? And he refuses to be a scumbag. He refuses to be that guy that he read in the manga. And that's where like a lot of the uh, conflict comes from. But yeah, I thought it was really interesting. I've been enjoying this uh, series. It's only three chapters at the time of this recording, but it's it's fun. I like it. But there you go. There's I was reincarnated as a scumbag from a Nitorari manga. But the heroine is coming on to me. And uh, yeah, it's just basically our hero gets isekai'd into a uh, scumbag NTR manga. And he's trying to do everything he can to not go down the NTR route. But uh, I hope that you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time. Take care. Later. So what did you guys think of that video? I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that bell for a notification. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, thank you for watching it this far. And I hope the next video is more to your liking. Feel free to check out the playlist that you guys see. And I hope to see you guys next time. Later.